Hi there, Pete from Craft Sellers here. Uh, got a real fun one for you guys today. Um, I want to talk to you a bit about this James E. Pepper. Uh, it's a single barrel whiskey that we've received recently. Um, and uh, it's super fun that I'm actually getting to talk about this whiskey while leaning on the barrel that the whiskey was aged in. So the guys down there at the distillery were good enough to send us the cask um, for the store. Uh, and that's just a really nice touch. But um, obviously we're more interested in the liquid itself. So uh, just before I tell you a little bit about the style, just a little bit of background on these guys. So they actually closed for quite a while. I think it was um, uh, 1950s that they actually closed the distillery and that was for 50 years. So they opened back up in 2017, started distilling again, and they also worked with a couple of neighboring distilleries to put out some really, really interesting um, whiskies. So what we actually have here is a single uh, cask rye. This one's been bottled at 55%. Um, and uh, yeah, we're the only ones to receive this in the market. So lots of fun. Um, let's give it a whirl, see what it's like. So obviously being a rye whiskey, you're going to expect there to be some spice in there. So you definitely get that on the nose straight away. I should clarify, it's a 95% rye mash bill. Um, so definitely a lot of uh, kind of classic rye notes up front. Um, there is something kind of herbaceous to it as well, which goes quite nicely with the spice. Um, things like maybe, I don't know, like dill perhaps is one thing. Um, there's definitely kind of almost like a licorice note in there too. Smells lovely, let's give it a little try. That's really, really pleasant. That's kind of all the things that are on the palate. Um, all those kind of herbal notes, um, maybe even something floral in there is definitely kind of in the center there um, on your tongue. But the rye spice arrives, as does quite a lot of sweetness actually, particularly on the back end. It's like this kind of really, really dark chocolate, maybe toffee kind of note. Um, nice and rich, it's got a really kind of um, rewarding mouthfeel, but also a, a nice long uh, finish as well. That's really tasty. You know, I'm from Scotland, you don't see a lot of rye whiskies where I'm from. I am kind of wading into it a bit, um, but this is definitely up there as one of the better ones I've had since getting to Canada. So yeah, that's delicious. Definitely recommend if you're into rye whiskey, give this one a try. Cheers.